Hare Krishna. So, on the occasion of Kartik, we'll be discussing verses from the Bhagavatam, which specifically meditate on Krishna and help us deepen our remembrance of him. So today, let's discuss a verse from the first chapter of the 10th canto. And the topic I'll be discussing is how to personalize our hearing about Krishna. This is based on 10.1.6. The verse, Dronyastra viplushtam idam madangam Santana bijam kuru pandavanam Jugopakukshim gata art chakro Matushchameya sharanam gataya So here, Parikshit Maharaj, what is the context over here? Parikshit Maharaj is praying to the, is actually speaking to Shukadev Goswami and he is saying, my dear Lord, O Shukadev Goswami, this is referring to him respectfully and he is saying that, I want to hear about that Lord. What are his characteristics? Dronya astra vishnu viplushtam idam madangam. That Lord protected madangam, my body, this body of mine, when it had been viplushtam, burnt and destroyed by Dronya astra, by the weapon of the son of Drona, that is Ashwatthama. That is the incident at his birth. And then he says, okay, and Santana bijam kurupandavanam, that I was the soul surviving heir of the Pandu dynasty and Jugopa Kukshim Gata Art Chakram and at that time I remember that the Lord came with his Sudarshan Chakra appraised ready to for my defense when Matushchameya Sharanam Gataya when my mother ran to him for shelter Krishna Krishna Mahabaho Krishna, please protect me O Krishna so at that time, that Lord protected me. So this is the Lord I want to hear about. So here we will see that Parikshit Maharaj is actually speaking about that Lord over here. He's speaking about that Lord. He wants to hear about Krishna and not just what about Krishna. He is seeking, by explaining Krishna's role in his life and he's explaining that role. Krishna is not so. Krishna is an intimately connected divinity for him. He is God, but he is not just some historical or mythological or fictional hero. People get fascinated by those things. Maybe it's Harry Potter or maybe some great warrior from history or some, some, some figures from history who are a combination of history and uh, exaggeration which makes them into some kind of a myth. But for Parikshit Maharaj, Krishna is a personal hero. Krishna is a person who has saved him in his own life. And it is that Lord he is wanting to hear about. So for him, it's, it's a personal relationship with Krishna, which is, the, which is the motive force for his hearing. And let's see, we can place these four things which he asks. This is how Parikshit Maharaj is personally relating with Krishna. Let's try to understand this through an uh, analytical framework. So he is starting with his own experience. What was his experience? He says, this, this Lord saved my life. Dronya astra viplushtam idam madangam. So when we want to remember the Lord, when you are hearing about the Lord, when you want to connect with the Lord, it is Parikshit Maharaj is doing that by, remember, by starting with his own personal experience. And then, okay, the Lord saved him. What was the significance? He's not thinking solely, I am so special that I was saved. He's saying that I was special because I was the Santana Bijam Kurupandavanam. So our life has significance quite often because we are parts of something bigger than ourselves. Yes, we are individually precious and we are collectively parts of something bigger than ourselves. So Parikshit Maharaj seeking or appreciating that the Lord saved him is not just, oh, you saved me. He's remembering that I was a part of something bigger in this way. You saved our dynasty. And then he's going specific. When his, remem his remembrance is specific, it's of a vision 
But when he was in his womb and he saw that fearsome weapon coming toward him to destroy him, and at that time suddenly the Lord appeared with his chakra. So he's remembering the Lord with his chakra. Jugo pakuksham gata art chakro. So he's remembering not just a generic incident I was saved, but specific details, specific vision of the divine he's having. So how that in that particular form uh, he remembered. In general, our emotions are evoked. They are triggered by specifics. Yes, remember Krishna is wonderful. But if there is a specific vision, specific darshan, specific kirtan, specific pastime, then the remembrance and the remembrance becomes more intense because emotions are triggered by specifics. And these emotions bring intensity to the remembrance. Just abstract principles don't necessarily activate emotions. You say Krishna is our protector. But if there's a specific image, we can associate with that. Krishna offering unlimited cloth to Draupadi or Krishna coming to rescue Gajendra, then Krishna is the protector. That, that thought, that principle of Krishna is the protector when associated with a specific image brings greater intensity and fervency to our devotion. And then last is acquaintance. Acquaintance means our relationship with Krishna is not just one, uh, one dimensional. We relate with Krishna. Actually, we are able to relate with Krishna because there are many around us who have related with Krishna before us. So he's remembering that this Krishna whom I'm hearing about, he was also the object of surrender of his mother. That Matushchameha Sharanam Gataya. That she surrendered to him and she sought protection for my sake. Back Uttara had prayed that let, let me die, but let my child survive. So he's remembering that. So in this way, there are multiple ways Parikshit Maharaj is personalizing his relationship with Krishna and therefore intensif thereby intensifying his eagerness to hear about Krishna. Now we can take this principle and these four points and we too can personalize our hearing about Krishna. So we can see how Krishna has personally acted in our life. Now for us, the ways may not be as miraculous as an intervention in the womb. But we all have our experiences of times when we were in great danger and we were protected amid that danger. So we can recollect that experience. Whenever we are going to read about Krishna or hear about Krishna, if we remember such experiences, then then that will that is one way we can intensify our hearing. Second is significance. For us, we may feel that I am just one among thousands. If we live in a city, millions of people in this metropolis, or billions of souls in the material existence. But no, while that may be true at one level, at another level, in our relationship with Krishna, every one of us is precious for Krishna, so individually precious that he comes as a personal manifestation in our hearts as the Paramatma. And Krishna wants us to be a part of his mission. We may not be the sole surviving heirs of any particular glorious dynasty, but Krishna can do wonderful things through us. And Krishna can make us a part of something bigger than himself, Krishna, bigger than ourselves alone. Krishna can make us a part of his mission so our life has significance both individually and collectively. And then remembrance. When we talk about some experiences that we may have had of Krishna, the more we can make those experiences specific. Oh, that so kirtans are so ecstatic. That is wonderful. But try to recollect a specific kirtan. Oh, at that particular time, this was the situation. This was the uh, tune or this was the song being sung. And try to make it more and more specific. And then our remembrance will become clearer. Or when we were in danger and we prayed and suddenly things came together, things were simply falling apart and suddenly things fell in place. And then, oh, this is how uh, that I was able to tide over that particular danger by Krishna invisibly orchestrating things for my benefit. 
So, so remember specific in, specific details of specific in, uh, specific incidents. And as far as acquaintance is concerned, if we focus on, we have many well wishers who have helped us. If there are well wishers who prayed for our protection and helped us come closer to Krishna, experience Krishna's protection. This could be our parents, our relatives, our diksha gurus, our shiksha gurus. And thus our relationship with Krishna is multidimensional, multi-channeled. And when we think about our relationship with Krishna in these multifarious ways, then we can personally relate with Krishna and we can personalize our hearing about Krishna. So all these four points, we could phrase them as an acronym, ESRA. So experience, significance, remembrance, and acquaintance. And if we apply these four points, then each one of us can have easy and steady recollection of Krishna. So E-S-R-A. So the ESRA acronym, experience, significance, remembrance, and acquaintance. These four features, if you meditate on when, while hearing about Krishna or reading about Krishna, then that will help us in easy and steady recollection of the Absolute, of our beloved Lord Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.